In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you've shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you've given us the consolation of the truth. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously grant to your church, O merciful God, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all her heart and united in purity of intent through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus, keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock, of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God, that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward perverting the truth to draw the disciples away from them, away after them. So be vigilant, and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonished each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God, and to that gracious word of his that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. 
I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way, I have shown you that by hard work of that sort, we must help the weak and keep in mind the words of the, of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him. For they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. You kingdoms, show forth, O God, your power, the, the power, O God, with which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring you gifts. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. You kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Chant praise to the Lord, who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Over Israel is his majesty, his power is in the skies. Awesome in his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is true. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world, so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hates them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world, and I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So this um, consecration is a being set apart, um, being set apart in the truth. This is to say, to be a part of God's own in a particular way, grounded in the truth of his wondrous love and the truth of the order of things which God has established and the holiness of life to which we are called. And so um, this is something that is not um, that is uh, sort of done upon us mindlessly, but rather something to which we must unite ourselves. The embrace with God uh, involves our um, engaging in that embrace and serving His holy purposes with fidelity, with obedience, with love. Please stand. Let us pray for the universal church, especially in this difficult time, that the Holy Spirit uh, uh, 
who's coming we will celebrate at Pentecost will enable profound renewal and increase in sanctification. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for our nation, our leaders, and our people, and we pray for the family of nations. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the abortion holocaust, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for um, those who have been led astray by errors and lies, those in great emotional distress and confusion, those who uh, are attached to things that lead away from God rather than uh, the embrace with God, that they may um, be responsive to the grace of the Holy Spirit for conversion or repentance, may br be brought to um, greater unity and wholeness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the suffering and those in need, our prayers and our assistance, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the poor souls in purgatory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear these petitions. Grant uh, your holy will in all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brother, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate as our dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. He is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sang together the unending hymn of your glory as a claim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that, they, that we may become, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy that, uh, to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, his assisting Bishop George, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. In our power and glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I need you. My peace I give. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. The last of them is called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I do not wish to enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be.
let us pray. May our partaking of this divine sacrament, O oh Lord, constantly increase your grace within us, and by cleansing us with its power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against weakness, the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruined souls. Amen. O glorious Prince, St. Michael, the Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Hosts, guardian of souls, vanquisher of rebel spirits, servant in the house of the Divine King, and our admirable conductor, you who shine with excellence and you superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil. We turn to you with confidence and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Father, I have added myself into your hands. Do with me what you will. Whatever you may do, I thank you. I am ready for all. I accept all. Let only your will be done in me and in all your creatures. I wish no more than this, O Lord. Into your hands I commend my soul. I offer it to you with all the love of my heart. For I love you, Lord, and so need to give myself, to surrender myself into your hands without reserve and with boundless confidence, for you are my Father. Outstay to hear us, O God, our only salvation, and through the intercession of the glorious and blessed Mary, Mother of God and ever Virgin, thy blessed martyr Sebastian, and of all the saints, deliver thy people from the terrors of thy wrath, and restore their confidence by the outpouring of thy compassion. Lord, at our earnest entreaties, and heal the illnesses of body and soul, so that experiencing thy forgiveness, we may ever rejoice in thy blessing. We beseech thee, O Lord, grant us a hearing as we devoutly raise our petitions to thee, and graciously turn away the epidemic of plague which afflicts us, so that mortal hearts may recognize that these scourges proceed from thine indignation, and cease only when thou art moved to mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Regina Cheli, Letare, Alleluia. We have a little portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit, Sicut Dixit, Alleluia.